that's it, Maria. Close your eyes. It's time to go to sleep. She never goes to sleep that fast for me. You're so good with her, Miguel. I just rub her tummy. You know, it always made Paloma sleepy when she was little. See, that's just the kind of thing I can learn from you about taking care of babies. I'm so glad we're going to be together the next few days. Just you and me and our baby. Uh-huh. He's thinking about charity. As long as the baby's asleep, why don't we go finish our dinner? I'm not really hungry, Kay. I've got to get him to eat those appetizers with the aphrodisiac Tabitha made in them. That came from Tabitha's room. I better make sure she's okay. I'll be back. What is going on with Tabitha? She knows I'm trying to pull out all the stops this weekend, make a big move on Miguel. Oh, and Dora, and Dora, what have you done? What is going on in here? You know I'm trying to set the mood to seduce Miguel. Yes, and I've been trying to help you. I wanted to tempt Charity with a hunk, but then and Dora got into the act and everything got out of hand. Okay, what do you mean? I created a hunk, all right, but I had no idea that it would be him. What are you doing with all these pictures of male models? Oh, just see for yourself. What? No, wait. What are you trying to do to me, Tabitha? <sighs> Wow, you look amazing. Look, I know that you don't believe me, but... Sarah, I wish that I could believe you. You know, I wish that I could believe that Best Baby is our son. Oh, Sheridan, I wish that the doctors would believe it so you could get the hell out of this place. It's not possible. Sheridan, as much as I want to believe it, we have to accept that our baby is gone. No, he isn't. Martin is our child. <sighs> All right, how? I don't know how to explain it. Okay, I don't know how it happened. All I know is that Beth's baby is mine. In my heart, I know it. Look, no one is gonna know that my baby is really Sheridan, so I am in the clear. <laughs> I'll tell you what's clear. You're clearly out of your mind. <laughs> they are suspicious as hell of you in Dr. Culver's office, and with good reason for having sex after your last visit, spilling that sugar sack that you were using to look pregnant all over the office floor, and the nurse saw it. So what? So what? So <sighs> they are sending you emails wanting to know what you are up to, because they're on to you, Bethy. And very soon, the whole world is going to know that you stole Sheridan's baby. They are not going to know. Did you not have your hearing aid turned up, Edna? I just told that nurse in no uncertain terms to stop emailing me or I would sue them for harassment. That phone was so hot, it probably gave her a third-degree burn on her ear. No. They're not gonna bother me anymore. You are in for such a big fall, Missy. Do you know that Gwen is suspicious of you? Oh, yeah, I've seen her. Yeah, she has been all along. What if she keeps sniffing around you, huh? Watching you, asking questions. Oh, it won't be long before she hits on the truth, and then you are gonna be the one who's in the psych award, not Sheridan Crane. <laughs> So you were you were just about to tell me about Beth Wallace. She almost made you quit nursing. What happened? I know what the doctor said, but I'm fine, really. Okay? You can't leave. Miss <laughs> Wallace. Oh. oh boy. You wouldn't believe what I have to tell you about that one. I would hold the hand of the one who could lead me places And kiss the lips of the one who could sing so well.
make Charity forget about Miguel. He's a total geek. Well, maybe he was at one time. For all time. How could you do this? How could you mess up like this? I was just trying to help you by using what little is left of my power to conjure up a man that would make Charity forget about Miguel. And that's the best you could do? Well, unfortunately, Endora got into the act and decided to add his picture to the ones I was using of the male models to create the ideal mate. <laughs> this isn't funny, Endora. It's very clever, but it's not funny. Well, you and your demon daughter managed to create a real loser. Yes, well, it's not over yet. Maybe the spell will turn him into a real winner. How do you figure that? Well, he's going to get certain attributes that will make women very attracted to him. What attributes? Yeah. I took this one's pecs, and this one's butt, uh, and this one's, um... Ooh, not in front of the B-A-B-Y. <laughs> That's quite an attribute, don't you think? <laughs> I think you're crazy. Well, don't you find these men attractive? Them? Not him. Okay, he could never look like these guys. Not in a million years. Let's not be hasty, Kay. This is stupid, Tabitha. Okay, no way will this guy ever get Charity to even give him a second look, much less forget Miguel. <sighs> you really look... Incredible. But why are you here? I just wanted to make sure you're okay. I'm fine, Reese. Good. We all want you to have a really good time while you're up here in the mountains. And I'm gonna make sure that you do. Isn't that view amazing? Amazing. I know, the baby is mine, Luis. I know it. Okay. Okay. Hey, let's not talk about this anymore, okay? You know, I came to see you to make you feel better. God. You have? I still can't believe you dressed as an orderly. <laughs> it's not every day that I get to make love in the psych ward. <laughs> Which can only prove one thing. We're, We're crazy, crazy about, about each other. <laughs> I really do love you so much. Somebody's coming. You gotta hide. If you get caught, you'll be arrested and thrown off the police force. You gotta hide. Oh, my God. That Gwen is so smart. She figured you were faking that pregnancy right from the start. But she never proved it, did she? Oh, she will. Mark my word, she will. Once again, Mother, you are wrong. There's no way Gwen's gonna find out, okay? Oh, I've got emails. Oh, I bet you it's Dr. Culver's office telling you they want you to come down there. I told you no one's gonna bother me anymore. I just put the fear of God and litigation into that stupid nurse. I am in the... What the hell? Oh! It is Dr. Culver's office, isn't it? Oh, thank you, Angel. Thank you. Shut up. Oh, thank you. What Shut they up. Say? What they say? It's the same as before. They're insisting that I go down there and they want to question me about my last visit. <laughs> of course they do. They want to know what you were doing wearing a sack of sugar around your belly pretending you were pregnant. Question for you, Mother. Do you want to spend the rest of your life in a straitjacket? Now <laughs> shut up so I can think. 
You know, I'm... I'm not gonna let them intimidate me. Okay, okay. They wanna talk, fine. We're gonna talk. But it is gonna be a one-sided conversation. Because I'm gonna put the fear of God into them, and I'm gonna read them the Beth Wallace Riot Act. So tell me what you know about Beth. You wouldn't believe. Excuse me. Doctor's office. Hi, this is Beth Wallace. Oh. Just who the hell do you people think you are threatening me? Calm down. Don't you ever, ever bother me again. We didn't threaten you. In fact, I'm sitting here talking to a friend of yours. Who? Gwen Winthrop. What? Yes. And I was just about to tell her a really sweet story about you. If you know what I mean. You fraud. Charity. Something the matter? The matter? Well, you're kind of staring at me. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. It's just, you look so different. Not that you weren't in great shape. It, it's just, now. Well, it was my New Year's resolution to start working out. You've only been working out since New Year's? Wow. How did you get into such great shape so fast? Hmm. You know? I don't know. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, Reese! What happened to you? You are ripped. Thanks, guys. I've been working out. Oh, what? Five times a day? No, just once or twice a week. Since New Year's. There is no way that you can have a bod like that in a few weeks. You're not taking anything, you know, to help, are you? You mean like steroids? No, no way, man. I'm not stupid. Well, whatever you're doing, keep doing it. You look incredible, Snuggle Bear. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Snuggle Bear. <sighs> oh, you almost made me forget what we were doing here. We're getting snacks. Right. A one a soda, Charity? Yeah, chips, salsa. <laughs> whatever, whatever you guys are having. Uh, Reese? Or do he men not drink sodas? Oh, this one does. <sighs> mm, don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. Okay. Go. Uh, okay, don't get the wrong idea, you two. Hmm. It's just that we've all seen Reese without his shirt on before, and he never looked like that. I can't believe that he bulked up like that just since New Year's. Wow! That boy must have some hormones. Hey, put your tongue back in your mouth, Simone. He's mine. I didn't know girls talked about guys' bodies like this so much. Apparently, I have to start working out more. <sighs> Look, I have to place a call and cool off. Hey, I'm just joking, Jessica. <laughs> you guys don't mind getting the snacks yourself, do you? Nah, of course no. not. Okay. Hey, All right. <sighs> Ooh, I wonder what you would think about Reese now, Kay. Reese? Ugh. How could you have thought that Charity would ever in a million years give up Miguel to be with Reese? I know you think he's a dork. A dork? Calling Reese a dork is like an insult to dorks. I was just trying to help you, Kay. Well, your plan stinks. Okay, and why couldn't you come up with a better idea? I mean, you and Endora have a stake in this, too. Believe me, I know that. If Charity stays with Miguel and they make love, she'll come into her full powers of goodness, and then my darling demon daughter and I will be toast. Well, you better come up with better ideas, then, because Reese is a joke. Well. Nobody's laughing at that body, dear. 
take a look at it. Oh, please. Just thinking about it makes me break out in the hives. Oh. Well, maybe at one time, but now he's a wondrous specimen. You see, my original spell was intended to create a new man from various attributes from those male models. But thanks to a little help from Endora, those attributes were transferred to Reese. So now his body is a thing of wonder that no woman can resist. Oh, I can. Okay, and so can Charity. Have you forgotten that Reese is Jessica's boyfriend? Okay, there is no way Goody Two Shoes Charity is going to make a move on him. I disagree. Did you get a look at Reese's new physique? Mm. Say magnifique. No. Okay, all I saw was that geeky face. Well, Ooh. take a look at no! it. No. Okay, for the last time, Reese is never going to be able to seduce Charity. Your spell isn't going to work. Okay. Stop arguing with me, Tabitha. <sighs> okay, what's going on? What are you and Tabitha arguing about? Is uh, something wrong, nurse? Oh, well, I'll say there's something wrong. Look at your bed. My, my bed? My bed? The sheets are all tangled up. I know what happened. You do? You had another one of your nightmares, poor dear. He must have been tossing and turning a lot to make such a mess. And why are you still in your room? An orderly was supposed to take you to the hydrotherapy pool 30 minutes ago. They, they said they were running late. They'd come back for me. <sighs> Shorthanded as usual. Well, while you're gone, I'll change your bedding. Thank you. Maybe we need to adjust your meds so you stop having these terrible nightmares. Huh? <sighs> that was close. Please, maybe you should go. I got a better idea. I'm taking you down to that hydrotherapy pool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like a good orderly should. But what if somebody sees us? I mean, that, that just might be a little too risky. Come on. It's half the fun. <laughs> Gwen is at your office. Right here. And I'm about to tell her a very sweet story about you. You could almost call it sugary. OK, you do that? And I swear, I will sue you and the doctor for violating a doctor-patient confidentiality. You committed a fraud. You can't prove that. I swear, you say one word to Gwen, and you're going to spend your golden years emptying bedpans at the state hospital. There's no reason to make threats. It's not my fault the doctor wanted those emails sent. He still wants to see you as soon as possible. OK, do you think I'm bluffing here? What, what was going on, huh? What was that about? Gwen is at Dr. Culver's. <laughs> I know it. I know she figured out your secrets. Shut up, okay? Let me think here. I told you. I told you it was just a matter of time. Yes, I told you, Missy. It is all over for you. All over. <sighs> Who is that on the phone? A patient. All right. Now, what was it you were going to tell me about Beth, Wallace? It's almost time for your appointment. I have to go check with the doctor. Wait, <laughs> wait a second. Before you got that phone call, you were just about to tell me something about Beth. She almost made you quit nursing? And what did she do? You are my passion all night. Everybody in the pool. Well, what, what if somebody walks in on us? I mean, you're dressed as an orderly. How will it look if you're in the pool with me? I don't care how it looks. Besides, won't be dressed for long. Would you? You could be arrested. <laughs> arrested? <laughs> what? Illegal breaststroke? <laughs> <laughs>
Tell me about Beth. I don't have time for any of this now. Wait, but you, you seemed so eager to tell me before. What happened? Did it have to do with that phone call? I told you. I have to go see if the doctor's ready to see you. What is that nurse hiding? More importantly, what is Beth hiding? Come up with a plan. Uh-uh. Oh, no, you're out of plans, Missy. Your brain is too addled for that. Shh, quiet. I'm thinking. Yeah, I know. I can see the smoke. <laughs> that was a good one, Edna. <laughs> Boy, that Gwen, she is just so smart, isn't she? She put two and two together and saw that it added up to be five. You shut up. She is closing in on you, Bethy. She is breathing down your neck. <sighs> Can you feel that? Can you feel that now? <laughs> Mother, how am I supposed to think with you running your mouth all the time, huh? Oh, yeah. You're coming up with another evil plan, aren't you? <sighs> There's got to be a way out of this. Well, there isn't. You're finished. Mm -mm. There's got to be something that I've overlooked. Yeah, you overlooked the fact that Gwen is not going to let go of this. She's going to talk to the doctor, or she's going to talk to the nurse, and she's going to find out the truth and find out how evil and wicked you really are, glory, glory, hallelujah! Dr. Culver, we have trouble. What trouble? Those emails to Beth Wallace, it could be it was a mistake. The woman was pretending to be pregnant, okay? I want her to come in here and explain why and what she was up to. She won't. She's really angry. Says we're harassing her, and if we don't stop, she'll sue. I tried to scare her by mentioning I was going to tell her friend who's here how she faked her pregnancy. But Beth got even angrier and more adamant about suing us. Well, let her. I mean, well, why do I pay for all this malpractice insurance if I can't use it once in a while? I don't know what Beth Wallace is up to. But send her friend back here. I'll be happy to tell her about Miss Wallace's last visit to this office. I'll tell her everything. Think, Beth, think. Oh, oh. That's a waste of time, because there's no way you're going to stop Gwen from talking to Dr. Culver. <laughs> oh, yes, there is. What are you going to do, kill her? <laughs> oh, angels of mercy, you wouldn't. What am I saying? Of course you would. You're right, Mother. I would. Gwen Winthrop has got to die. So what were you two arguing about? We weren't arguing. We were having a friendly discussion. About what? Um, our daughters and when to give them solid food. Oh. Well, you can always just ask the pediatrician. That's a good idea. I'll call her tomorrow. Yeah. Well, uh, in the meantime, where can I find Maria's baby wipes? Oh, they're in the cabinet next to my bed. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Now, that's a body. Reese couldn't even come close. But if you just have a look at Reese, you'd see that the spell Endora and I came up with... It's not gonna work. Well, don't be so quick to judge, Casey, how this thing plays out. Mm. Hello? Girlfriend, did you totally blow it or what? I have no idea what you're talking about, Simone. Reese, when I think that bootylicious babe could have been yours, <laughs> wow! What is the big deal about Reese? Have you seen him with his shirt off lately? Okay, I have a child to raise now, Simone. Looking at shirtless guys is not number one on my priority list. Well, if you saw Reese now, you'd make him numero uno. And he'd definitely make you forget about Miguel. No, okay, no one can make me forget about Miguel. Hmm. I don't know about that. Check this out. 
I'll send you a picture through my phone. Whoa. Whew. What did you do? Cut and paste his head on somebody else's body? That can't be Reese. Ooh, yes, it's Reese. <laughs> oh, uh, no, I can't believe it. Okay, I'll send you another one. Still can't find the wife's gay. I'll be right there. Hey, I gotta go, Simone. Take a look at this, Tabitha. Hmm. Oh. Charity and Reese in the hot tub together. What do you think of my spell now, Kay? I think you're on to something, Tabitha. <laughs> I have to tell the nurse about this. I love you so much. I love you too. Nurse, I want that new therapy. What new therapy? The one in the hydrotherapy pool. Well, you don't need hydrotherapy. I need what's going on in that pool. The hot Latino dude making my toes curl. Half hour with him, I'd never need antidepressant pills again. I have no idea what you're talking about. I'm talking about that orderly having wet and wild whoopee with the patient in the hydrotherapy pool. Are you hallucinating again, Mrs. Rich? No. If I were, I'd be picturing myself with that orderly instead of that blonde he's with. Blonde? Sheridan Crane! Gonna kill Gwen? Yeah, that's right. <gasps> what are you gonna do? Just hopscotch it over there to the doctor's office and do it in front of everybody there? Oh, that'll be good. That'll really work. You'll get away with that one, oh, Missy. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I know you'd like to think I was that stupid, but sorry to disappoint. That is not the plan. What is your evil plan this time, Missy? Actually, it's pretty simple. I just gotta get the doctor out of the office before Gwen has her appointment. Well, so what? Because even if Dr. Culver doesn't tell Gwen that you faked the pregnancy, guess what? The nurse will. No, she won't. She's too afraid of being sued. And even if she does talk, I'll just... I'll kill her, too. Dr. Culver's office. Hi! I'm a patient of Dr. Culver's, and I'm in some terrible trouble. I'm bleeding profusely. Oh, God, why won't it stop? Okay, try to relax. <gasps> I don't want to lose my baby. If you could uh, give me your name, please. I'm so frightened. There's blood everywhere. If you could give me your name. <gasps> I can't lose my baby. Please just tell Dr. Culver to please meet me at the emergency room and hurry. Okay, that should do the trick. <gasps> Dr. Culver, you've got to get over to the ER right away. Wait, can I talk to the doctor first? This is an emergency. But, you know, just for a minute before, before the doctor... A, a patient is in severe distress. Dr. Culver has to leave immediately. Okay, I'm off. What are you gonna do? How many times do I have to tell you I'm going to kill Gwen? Nosy bitch is as good as dead. Oh, no, angels, angels in heaven, please look after Quinn. She has no idea that a psycho is headed her way. Let me guess. You're going to show that picture of Reese and Charity to Miguel, right? You weren't kidding when you said your powers are getting weaker. This is like a no-brainer. Well, tell me the rest of your plan. Okay. I'm gonna tell Miguel that Simone called. And how she went on and on about how they're having such a great time skiing and snowboarding. And as proof, you will show Miguel Reese and Charity cavorting in the hot tub. You got it. 
<laughs> yes, well, that should work quite nicely. As I've said before, the simplest plans are often the best. Oh, it's simple, all right. But lethal. It's gonna kill Charity and Miguel's relationship. That you will be waiting with open arms to comfort him. Yes, and anything else he needs. <laughs> no, clever girl, well done. Miguel, put Marie in her crib and come in here. Tabitha found some baby wipes. Watch this. Here you go, Miguel. Thanks, Tabitha. Well, oh, by the way, Simone called. From the ski lodge? Yeah, she said they're having a really good time. Oh, and she sent me over this little picture on her picture phone. Oh, doesn't that hot tub look great? Yeah, looks like Charity's having a really good time. Not a care in the world. Looks like she's forgotten about everything. Yep. Including me. How's your therapy session? Heaven. How could it not be, though? My therapist is so... so... skilled. <laughs> Somebody's coming. Oh, no. It's okay, just in here. You'll get arrested. All right, hey. <gasps> Calm down. Dr. Culver might not be back for hours. We'll have to reschedule your appointment. Before I go, would you mind telling me what you were going to, to say about Beth Wallace? You'll have to speak to Dr. Culver. You were so eager to tell me before. What happened? I'm very busy now, if you'll excuse me. Nurse, please, it is very important that I know what happened with Beth Wallace. I'm not at liberty to discuss it. You were earlier. You'll have to discuss it with the doctor. No, I will, but... Now, if you'll excuse me, I have patients to call, uh, appointments to reschedule. I know that nurse was just about to tell me something that would confirm my suspicions about Beth. There's nothing I can do about that now. I'm not gonna give up, though. I'm gonna get to the bottom of this. I want to see what Beth is up to. It's been a long time since I hotwired a car. At least this way no one can trace the murder weapon back to me. Sick when prepare to be a roadkill. Whoa. <laughs> Reese looks like he's been working out, doesn't he? What? Reese, I mean, look at those ripped abs and bulging biceps. Ooh, I gotta tell you, Jessica better watch out or somebody's gonna steal him right away from Reese her. Reese is crazy about Jessica. Maybe now, but. People change, you know, they move on. Looks like Charity has, without me. What? Nothing. I'm gonna go finish up with Maria. <gasps> Did 
Did you see the look on his face when he sold charity with priests? <laughs> Didn't I tell you my spell would work? I gotta hand it to you, Tabs. I would have never guessed in a million years that you could get Reese to give charity to give up Miguel. I mean, I can't believe it, but it's working. <laughs> and then Dora and I are safe. <laughs> Way to go, girlfriend. <laughs> Why would that woman say she saw you in there with an orderly? Here, maybe she's just a little bit delusional. I mean, that, that is why the doctors say I'm here. <laughs> Must be it. I'll have to up her meds. Anyway, we shouldn't be in here alone. If I see the orderly, I'm gonna send him back immediately. Yeah. Luis, Luis, you can come up now. There you are. Oh, come here. Are you all right? Yeah, I was drowned, that's all. I can't believe we just got away with that. I can believe anything as long as we're together. Or not. I'm stuck in this place. Well, I'm gonna get you out of here, all right? We're gonna start our lives together. My baby? Yeah. Please. I know you don't believe little Martin's mine. But he is. Someday you'll believe me. Soon something will happen and you'll know that I was right all along. Okay, what should I do now? Oh, I'll call Ethan. Get my cell phone out of here. your fault, Gwenny. You got too close to my secret, and that was a fatal mistake. I can't let you tell Luis the truth. Can't let anyone take baby Martin or Luis away from me. That's why you've got to be silenced. Permanently. God help you, Charlotte Green. Your own father against you, you don't stand a chance in hell. We need to talk. Miguel, I was just about to call. About you and Charity. Never let me take my baby away from you. Never! 